the downhill. The downhill's a lot easier, especially on day one. Be back for this one. And then we got out. Is that a full tank? Yeah, I would put a full tank. I wish you put his little ramp somewhere else. Warm this thing up. <laughs> Yeah, pretty dusty. to get some follow cam for a bit. What do you think? I, I, thought, I looked at that and thought that looks like it might be a Garrett Hill. I think up to the right of that rock, pivot left. You know, I didn't consider going down this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna ride it. Little bulldog there, we got it. Get your foot out in front of you, Levi. Levi! Oh, he's got it, perfect.
I might recommend that you get off the bike for this part because you could go over the bars quickly if you're not careful. Yeah, it looks like you're kind of right on the edge of a, a, yeah. like a foot drop or something. You're going to go down there and then go out. I'm going to try and go up this one real quick. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and try it, but it's a little sketchy. Are you trying to get up here? Uh, straight, up here? We're straight there in the middle. Okay. And then I'll probably go to the top, pivot turn, and come back. Because we don't got all day for the Earsberg section. Up. That's why I recommend you get off it. It takes some maneuvering. And I'm going to come here. And we're going to... If I can just find a footing real quick. Ah, it's steep. There's a pretty good sized rock behind you there for a second too. Yep. I felt it. Oh, I bet you did. Wouldn't say I dropped it just yet. I might get off the bike for this bit. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Hey, fill the hole. Yep. Another one coming with you, but from behind. That's all right. Good stuff, good stuff. I like the way you think. Oh. No, I just went over there. It just, it kicks you back so far right at the very top. Yeah. I'm actually more comfortable going next to the tree. That looks way better, honestly. And if you did hit the tree, it would just knock you over. <laughs> All right, that went better than I thought it might. <laughs> kind of smacked my wrist on the way up, but. You really sink in there, eh? I love hard enduro. When you get there first, you get a nice break. Oh. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Don't let your front go down there or you're gonna get stuck. Oh, 
Very close. I think you need momentum. It's gonna be slippery on top. Would have liked a little more lift, but I'll take it. Part two! Trail bike. Bah. It's 4 p.m. I'm gonna run out of daylight before I can ride the bicycle. But, two motorcycle rides in one day, I'll take it. Anyway, I forgot my tire bump because I'm so used to running moose. So I didn't even think about it. Hopefully, that feels about right. It's not far off at the very least. Anyway, I'm gonna get ready. Uh, but before I get ready, hang on. I got some cones. I'm gonna go set up some gates, so I'm gonna walk over there. It is so dry. Look at this. That's from my feet. Imagine the motorcycle. Just dry. But I got gates. Proper trials. I'm just going to place two gates at a time. Just randomly. We'll see how it goes. I haven't thought about this at all. I haven't planned this out. So I'm going to take these. I'm going to put them there. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll just leave them. This looks like a nice spot. Right under the tree. Hey, any trials guys mind telling me in the comments how wide you're actually supposed to place these? I'm just, I'm kind of winging it here. This looks, yeah, that looks good. Right there. <laughs> Get rid of that. Bam. I mean, that looks fine. There's some gates. I'll place some more over here. Option line up the hard bit, up the middle bit. That line's impossible at my skill level, but anyway, looks good. Oh, by the way, Gas Gas is unbreakable fender. Yeah, that's some... Marketing bullshit. I broke that in like four rides. But I am a unique case. I break everything. This thing feels a lot lighter than my Sharko. Okay, I got some gates now. Let's go. Time to get serious. Don't know what gear I'm in. I feel like that rock is bigger than it looks. What's the rule on hitting the gate? Are you allowed to hit the gate? How do I get up this? And I'm now realizing. Should have brought my 360 camera for a third person angle. I was not thinking about that. which foot I want to put down. So right now I'm just sitting on my skid plate. I think I'm going to put the left foot down up on this rock here. Okay, no moving that now. Let's get over the rock and then I'll pick my foot up. Gotta use the dab. Okay. That's three total for the section. Hey, that's 
to one again. Maybe if I hit the bigger side, but just commit more. that bit of the section. Okay, that's three. I want to go through all those gates. My hands are so tired. And I failed. Better than that. Okay, balance. I'm using the peg, but I think that's legal. Ugh. Feet up. Keep your feet up. Let's go. Make this section a little longer to celebrate. Okay, that's all no dabs. We're just gonna go one more hard line, which I'll have to put a dab down, but I'm happy with what I just did there. scary. And I get up this without a dab and I make it a two for that whole section. So I think I hit every gate. This is the last one. Come on, Garrett. Gate, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. Honestly, anyone who thinks trials riders aren't the best motorcycle riders on the planet is an idiot. This this discipline is so hard. Bow makes it look easy, as does any pro doing anything. But like it, it's indescribable how hard it is to do even a fraction of what they're doing without putting your foot down. Like I already had respect for those riders, but now it's like it's so much higher. They're the best motorcycle riders on the planet. Not the fastest, but just in terms of pure control, they're unmatched. And that line's maybe doable. I could try it. Come on, Garrett. Why'd you put your foot down? I mean, it's a tall. Shouldn't be hard, though. I should be able to do this one dab. Maybe two 
doodads. Two dabs, Max, you got this. Come on, one dab's possible. Oh, my foot's gonna fall. Do I fall and take a second dab? Do I fall or take a second dab? That is the question. I really don't want to have to take a second dab, but I think I need to. Right foot or left foot? I think it's got to be the right foot. That's five. There's no getting the bike up without putting the feet down and lifting. Uh. Damn it, that rock is so... It's so doable. That was the best run yet. It just still was, it was just still a five. It's doable. I mean, honestly, it's doable clean, but that's a miracle run. It's realistically doable with one. And three, two, one. bad about taking that five. Ah, I keep psyching myself out. Just send it. Maybe don't loop your bike out on the side of a cliff though. I think I'm getting worse and that's never a good sign. I think I'll call it before I get injured. I'll come back to this one. Just to give you guys a bit of perspective, let me go down and just show you what it looks like from the bottom with the bike up here. I'm trying to go more straight, of course, but it's not small, it's just I keep psyching myself out right before I hit it. I'm going from that rock right there with the back tire. It's doable, but today's not the day. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, you enjoyed the different kind of video with a lot more stuff going on. Don't know how long this thing's gonna be. I've done a lot of recording <laughs> But I'll try to cut some bits out. Just keep the important stuff in there. You guys have a good one Peace oh My god, are you Chris Horner? <laughs> Chris Horner with a broken front wheel. You need a ride? <laughs>